Hi, welcome to the Coffee Chat Show here on Buzzing Patia, the show where we talk about things that are happening right here, right now in Patia, as well as general news, tips, information and advice. All right, so before we get into today's Coffee Chat, please hit the subscribe button and if you'd like to be notified when we bring out a new video, please hit the bell icon. All right, so today's show. Wow, this one's going to be a good one and I hope we're going to get lots of comments from you, but before we go into it, I just want you to remember two things, please. Number one is our best breakfast vote is finishing today. So please check out the link below if you haven't already cast your vote as to who you think offers the best breakfast in Patia. And secondly, following on from the best breakfast, we're doing the best Sunday roast. And again, the link is below as to who you think offers the best Sunday roast. So please cast your votes below for us, guys. All right, so today's coffee chat, dirty old man or living the dream and this conversation came about because i was talking to a friend of mine who was back in the uk we were talking on a video call and i said to him oh you know when things have changed etc you should come out and he said yeah he said i was thinking about it he said but the trouble is he said everyone thinks you're a dirty old man if you come out to thailand and it got me thinking and i thought to myself well hang about let's just talk about this for a second do our friends judge us do your friends judge you as a dirty old man because you come here either on holiday or where do you live here? And how hypocritical are those judgments because of these reasons? Number one, let's take an old guy, right? So let's say a guy's 65 years old, 70 years old. He's worked hard all his life. His children have grown up. They've gone off and done their own thing. And he sat there on his own at home thinking, well, this is what my end of my life is coming to. And he has options. He can sit there for the rest of his life until his time's come, or he can look forward to every Sunday when he goes down to the working man's club and puts his pound in the jar for his meat drawer and sits there with his pint of ale and lives for the rest of his life pretty much quite lonely because, let's face it, he's not likely to nip down to the local nightclub and dance the evening away. Some do, I guess, but I guess not very many. Or he gets on an aeroplane and he comes out here to a country that is beautiful, great climate, amazing food, and have stunningly attractive women. In my opinion, I think Thai women are probably one of the most attractive women in the world. And when he comes over here, why can't he live the dream? Why can't you guys have fun and experience the experiences that we all enjoy here? And yet still, people judgment. They cast their judgment. There's still people judgment that goes... You're a dirty old man. You're going over there to, to have sex with all these young girls. But let's just think about that for a second. Is that not the same wherever you are in the world? When you go into a bar and you walk up to the bar and you see a pretty girl there, if you just walked up and said, oh, hi, how are you doing? My name's T. Um, what's your name? She's going to think, oh, hello, weirdo alert, weirdo alert. And she might maybe be kind enough to be not so quite offensive and say, oh, yeah, hi, um, I'm okay, thanks, yeah. Or she might start a bit of conversation with you. But in general, if you just walked up to a girl and started that kind of situation, that kind of conversation, it, most people would go, weirdo alert, hello. Whereas if you walked up and said, hi, uh, can I buy you a drink? What's that? Can I buy you a drink? Or when you get to sit down with people and the girl accepts the drink, what is she thinking? And what is the person buying the drink thinking? We're buying her time. And in that time segment you get for buying her a drink, that's your opportunity to show her what kind of a person you are to the point where you hope that she's that interested that you could buy her another drink and maybe a bit more drink. And who knows, maybe you'll end the night with a, with a bit of a, a, a happy ending. But when you come out here, forget all that bullshit. Forget it. We don't need to do that. It's a very easy, it's a very easy, non-complicated situation. You go into a bar, you buy the girl a drink, and that's it. We know where we're going with things. But yet you're a dirty old man. How? It just doesn't make any sense whatsoever why people think this. Why do, do, why do people cast these judgments? I've yet, in the 10 years I've been here, I've yet to see any man physically get a girl in a headlock and drag her out of a bar, kicking and screaming because she doesn't want to cope. And yet, we're judged. We are judged as being dirty old men. Incredible. Because no matter where you are in the country, number one, there is this situation here available everywhere, pretty much. But number two, even if you don't have it as a, hello, this is a red light area, 
It's the same concept. You get married back in England or in the, around the world and you get divorced. Do you keep everything and walk away? Thank you. Bye-bye. Of course not. You have to go to court and then what happens? Oh, what do they say about a woman scorned? Next thing, I want this, I want this, I want this. And you walk away having paid a lot of money in many cases. Probably more money than if you just stayed single and come out here and just paid for your fun. But yet, we're dirty old men. And it just does my head in. And when you start drilling down into it and you start thinking about it, it's really not a really good place to be in in terms of how people judge you. How people snigger behind you about, oh yeah, yeah, he's going because he can't get laid over here. Oh, he's going, he's going to go and buy those young girls. Let's talk about the young girls. Now I've been here 10 years and I know a lot of girls here because of the work I do here. And I ask these girls, is an old man good for you? Yes. Is he better than the young man? Oh, yes. And you think, whoa, hang on, where did that come from? And they look at it differently. And she doesn't want a young lad for many, many reasons. Butterfly, wants to boom boom every night, all night long for hours, I wish. And there's no stability. He's yet to earn his income. He's yet to find his own life. So if they get a young lad, that doesn't appeal to him. But an older guy, in general, made his money, done all of his butterflying, probably got kids of his own, is, is settled down, and doesn't want to ram her all night long for hours and hours and hours. And therefore, for her, that's a much better perspective than some young lad that possibly will be here today, gone in a week's time, wants to spend every, every second of every day in the bed, blah, 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 blah. So, in effect, the girls out here are switched on because they want the older man to come out here. And as I said earlier, I've yet to find anyone in the headlock being dragged down the street screaming. So why are we dirty old men? Why do our friends and family and judgments come our way and snigger behind your back? Why? Why are you a dirty old man? Would you rather that we sit in an old pub, in an old man's pub, in a working man's pub, wherever, and just wait until it's our turn? And half the people, if not more, that judge you have never been here. Not even been here. Not even been here. Not even been here. And they're telling us what we are doing and they've not even been here. Okay, so please guys, drop your comments below. Share what you think, share how you feel. Keep the comments coming. Let us know about whether your friends think you're a dirty old man or whether they think you're a good lad. Go on, crack on, son, enjoy yourself. Please comment below and let's see where we go with this chat because I'm really looking forward to seeing what other people think and to reading your replies. All right, so that's it today on the Coffee Chat Show. And thank you so much to those of you that have been kind enough to support our channel by using the Buy Me A Coffee link. Uh, all, your, all your money that you send us really does help us cover our costs. So thank you so much indeed. It really is much appreciated. All right, so that's it for today on the Coffee Chat Show. Please remember to hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon if you'd like to be notified when we bring out a new video. And I look forward to speaking to you in the next edition of the Coffee Chat here on Buzzing Paddy. Thanks very much. Stay safe wherever you are.